us again. Dodge has tried this and others three or four times with total failure. They get debris in them. The collar doesn't slide back and forth anymore. This little collar that slides over here and engages these two splines, right? If it doesn't slide over all the way or whatever strips off the splines on the little collar, then you really do have a freaking mess on your hands. Uh, gets hung up, doesn't slide back and forth. You got to install those manual cables. Yank that thing over and yada, yada, yada. Some people yank that cover off and screw it. They're on YouTube. Check it out. Put little spacers in. Lock that collar over. That's the smart thing. It's just slide that collar over there and lock it in. And make it a one-piece axle. And you've got your lock and hubs that disconnects everything at the wheels. Central axle disconnect by design. This is the passenger side. Here's the pumpkin. Here'd be the other side. Now, what if you were running a limited slip or a locker in your pumpkin and you were using this? Would it disengage the whole front end? No! Because this tire's turning and turning the shaft and it's going into the carrier and the carrier's spinning and the front drive shaft is spinning and the front half of the transfer case is spinning. Do you want to know why the manufacturers have worked so hard on push button disconnects and got away from locking hubs. I'm going to tell you the truth. They've done many studies. And here's what they found out. End users are what they call them. People that buy vehicles, they call them end users. The automobile manufacturers believe that the end user is too effing lazy to exit the vehicle and lock in hubs once in the lifetime of the vehicle. Many full-wheel drives are never engaged or only once or twice for 20 or 40 feet during their entire lifetime of 100, 200 Dodge Diesels, 300,000 miles. one-tenth of one-thousandth percent, yet they are too lazy to exit the vehicle and demand a push button. I want my button. So the CAD design is inherent with all kinds of design problems. And it's been a flop every single generation that it's been tried. A flop. God bless you. God bless America. The only way to completely disengage 
a front axle. is to have locking hubs on each end and most axles have two ends.